Good morning. Um, I'd like to add my thanks to Bob Weissman. He has been a hero to the town of Palm Beach, and certainly I'll talk to him again before the budget time. Good morning, Chairman Wright, civic members, and neighbors. As always, it is my privilege to share in the accomplishments of the Civic Association. Your commitment to our community on many fronts, advancing education, improving communication, and promoting dialogue to foster a collaborative consensus on critical issues is immeasurable. I would like to add my deepest congratulations to the Raymond J. Kunkel Award honoree, Michael Ryman. Your contributions above and beyond the call of duty personifies the dedication, high standards, mutual respect inherent in all of our citizens. Truly the best of the best. I am grateful for the opportunity to address your annual meeting. While I feel like I am preaching to the choir, we can celebrate many successes and focus on the message of stability. Earlier this month, the town of Palm Beach began its 104th year. Such longevity would not be possible without careful progress and stability. During this past year, the town has taken firm and steady measures to safeguard our coastline, manage bridge reconstruction, monitor Port of Palm Beach maneuvers, and guarantee electrical dependability by undergrounding utilities. While these efforts have undoubtedly caused disruption to our everyday lives, necessary work is underway to prepare and preserve our extraordinary lifestyle for many years to come. By the end of April, the various sand placement efforts on our beaches will be completed. Nearly one million cubic yards of sand have been placed in Midtown, Reach 7, and Reach 8, proclaiming a coastal success. This month marks the commencement of the North Ocean Boulevard seawall replacement at the Palm Beach Country Club in Reach 2. These active beach projects and seawall protection offer enhanced storm protection for nearly one half of the town's shoreline. In addition, right now, the town is soliciting bids for a total beach renourishment in Phipps Ocean Park and Reach Schedule 7, scheduled to begin this season prior to turtle nesting. This project will place yet another one million cubic yards of sand on the beaches from Sloan's Curve to Croisler Park. The program includes beach placements south of the Ambassador Hotel, which has not ever seen previous renourishment. The large amount of sand placed this past year and projects proposed for the upcoming winter provide real stability to our shoreline. Comprehensive coastal management requires ongoing vigilant maintenance by the town, but also by actions of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. During the winter of 2015-2016, the Army Corps is planning a major dredging event of the Lake Worth Inlet. This is not the dreaded deepening and widening effort, but the much needed maintenance to assure navigability. We continue to insist and adamantly repeat the mantra, sand placement on the dry beach. Current negotiations with the Corps to extend that dry sand placement an additional 2,000 feet southward into Reach 2 represents a placement area nearly one mile south of the inlet, a major development promoting storm protection in an area that has not received sand and significantly improves the littoral drift. Moving from sand to land, the 75-year-old Flagler Bridge the structure that provides the northernmost access to Palm Beach has tried the patience of a saint. <laughs> and during last summer's full closure, work was performed which led to its on-time reopening in November. This would not have been possible without the collaborative work between town staff, FDOT and their contractors, and our residents. Additionally, the town demands that FDOT complete the Flagler Bridge reconstruction and establish proactive protective measures before commencement of the Southern Boulevard Bridge replacement.
although the construction aggravation and associated devastating impacts to the town's gateway and tropical landscape continue. That unsightly equipment represents a reminder that better days are ahead with the promise of a reliable movement of traffic for decades to come. And more good news, FDOT and the town are partnering to provide a bridge underpass that realizes the continuation of the lake trail, ensuring safe bicycle and pedestrian enjoyment. Nice. Activities at the Port of Palm Beach continue to haunt the Palm Beach horizon. We acknowledge that the Port of Palm Beach is a vital engine for the economy of Palm Beach County, but it is constrained by its physical footprint and surrounded by four neighboring lagoon municipalities offering a robust environmental and recreational asset. As a niche port that primarily serves food and materials to the Caribbean islands, the port's long-term vision must embody efforts to improve, strengthen, and expand the scope of their existing core tenants. We are deeply indebted to our own Congresswoman, Lois Frankel. It is her leadership and advocacy at both the state and federal levels that has led to a deliberate, careful, and responsible approach to protect our Lagoon neighborhood. Congresswoman Frankel has been crystal clear in her message to the port. No funding will be appropriated by Congress under her watch unless there is consensus that the port's plan is mutually acceptable. And Lois, I am deeply grateful you can take a bow. <laughs> Upgrading our utilities is another topic that is paramount to the stability of our town. We are about to embark on a long desired goal of burying all of the overhead utility lines and facilities within the town. The long term, oh, okay. <laughs> the long term undergrounding activity will be disruptive to us, but is essential to ensure a safe, reliable, and stable power source for the future. Each of the next 10 years will get us closer to making the replacement of our utilities a reality and includes the savings derived by avoiding FPL's mandated hardening program. We must stay positive and be patient. All of these improvements from coastal to bridge reconstruction to undergrounding will provide direct benefits to each and every property. This stability will surely enhance our taxable values increasing revenues, maintaining stable millage rates, and protect life and property. It is a year of successes and opportunities. As neighbors, let us continue to work together, sharing our common goal. Prepare and preserve all that is good in Palm Beach. I am reminded of the children's song made famous by Mr. Rogers. It is a beautiful day in our neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? Thank you. Thank you. Very nice.